video we are going to look at pivot and what we have is a cte where we are creating a temporary table with columns product sales quarter and year so if we run this uh, let's look at how the table looks like and here we can see we have uh, the product sales quarter and year columns now in pivot what we can do is pick a column such as quarter from here and then convert q1 q2 q3 q4 as columns so we can convert all the categories within the quarter as columns and then aggregate the values let's say for sales so to do that what we can do is let's comment this out and we'll use the same table for vegetables to to uh, to do the pivot and the first case we have is this one where we specify select star and then from produce which is the name of the ct we have up there pivot and within parenthesis we are specifying uh, what aggregation we want to use and on which column so we specify sum on sales column and then we have for in quarter so this is the column which has the categories in it and in then we specify within a uh, parenthesis the list of categories uh, the names of categories that we would like to be converted to columns so now when we run this particular part of code here we uh, we see that we have the product and year columns as is but then we converted the sales column to aggregated values as we have here and then the quarter column is converted into columns uh, categories within the quarter column are converted to individual columns such as q1 q2 q3 and q4 and you'll notice that some of the columns where there are no values they are uh, reported as null and so with this we can now find the sales figures for kale for quarter one quarter two quarter three etc additionally what we can do is uh, we can change what we want to show in the output by removing the columns that we do not need let's say for example we do not need the year column so what we can do is uh, write select star and after from within parenthesis we can specify another select statement which uh, again calls from the produce that we have up above and the select only has these three columns product sales and quarter it does not have the year column the rest of the pivot statement stays as is now when we run this line of code what we will see is that the output column that we get it has our output table that we get it has product it does not have the year column now we only have the aggregated values for the quarters and moreover what we can do further with the pivot is we can choose what categories we would like to be converted into columns let's say here we have q1 q3 q2 q3 q4 if we are just interested in these three categories q1 q2 and q3 then uh, it's the same code that we have above Our only difference is that here we are specifying just three categories and when we run this line of code we would get only three columns q1 q2 and q3 for the quarters and we have the product column as is next let's look at another variation of pivot where what we are trying to do here is uh, look at the sales quarter from produce that we had above so here we had product sales and quarter here we have just sales and quarter from produce and we are looking at just uh, the q1 q2 and q3 quarters from here when we run this as you would expect we now have the values only for the quarters q1 q2 q3 and these are the aggregated values which are the sum and we do not have 
the associated column of uh, products and therefore we just get one single record in the output moving on let's look at another variation where if we are interested in performing multiple aggregations let's say here what we are doing we are getting the sum of sales and we are referring to it as total sales additionally we are getting count when we are calling that column number of records and we are doing that for quarters one and quarter two and in the output we and for pivoting we have these three columns product sales and quarter from again from produce so when we run this part of the code what we'll see is we'll see the product column as is as we can see here and then we have the sales figures for the quarters q1 and q2 which are combined so here we see that this is for q1 number of records and total sales and then we have total sales and number of records for q2 so that was it for this video i hope in this video you will learn how to perform a pivot for a table in sql in bigquery and in other variations of SQL, I think the concept would be similar. Uh, the syntax may vary a little bit. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.